Hello guys, my name is Ameek and thank you so much for coming back to this channel. In today's video, I want to talk about 5 things that is really going to help you improve your mental health. Now I know mental health is a topic we don't talk about much but everybody wants to hear. So today I decided to make a video on it. End up liking this video and if you think the tips helped you then definitely don't forget to mention in the comments down below and subscribe or like this channel. Okay, now the very first tip has to be journaling. Journaling has literally changed my life. I started journaling back in 2020 during lockdown. Journaling is a great way to deal with your thoughts and emotions. A lot of research proves that journaling helps you track any symptoms on a day-to-day -day basis so that you can recognize triggers and learn ways to better control them. In a lot of ways, journaling helps you become more self-aware about yourself and the traits which sometimes hamper your progress to living a happy life. Now imagine you have a beautiful room with well-decorated bed covers, scented candles and flowers. You feel happy as soon as you enter the room, but suddenly someone comes in and throws garbage inside the room. You try to save your decorated room and just put the garbage aside. And that happens again and again when someone comes in and throws and you simply keep putting it aside thinking you'll do it later. And soon what happens, your room is full of garbage and the smell starts circulating everywhere. And soon enough you have completely forgotten what your beautiful room used to feel like. Coming back to the point, putting your thoughts and feelings aside is never going to help you because the more you try to push down something, the more it occupies space, making you feel frustrated and annoyed, taking peace away from your life. So journaling is a really great way to actually notice your thoughts from the outside and become a very clear observant. Instead of rationalizing your thoughts, you try to just see them from the outside as just a passing cloud. You let those feelings and emotion be instead of taking action on them. I have finished so many journaling books since I started and you can see these are literally all my thoughts and feelings in a piece of paper. I think that is why journaling is such a great tool because it helps you put your thoughts and feelings into paper, making them feel noticed, you know. You, you validate your own self instead of seeking anywhere external for that validation and you finally give your feelings and emotions the time and attention they always needed. And once you do that, boom! your mind becomes so much clearer and you become so much more happier. So start journaling even if it's just five minutes a day or even if it's just one paragraph of writing how a significant thing happened your day, whatever it is, just start putting it down on paper. Now my next tip is meditation and yoga. Quiet your mind and let the soul speak. I know sometimes we get so much clustered and busy with our everyday lives that we forget to spend time alone or even connect with our bodies because there is so much overthinking, stress, anxiety, things to do that we just forget to come back in the present moment and into our body. Even five minutes of quiet time every day where you simply focus on your breathing helps you to calm your nervous system. Whenever we are stressed or put in a high pressure situation, our breathing rate changes. We are in flight or fight mode making us feel more anxious. The only thing that can bring us out of this is focused breathing. Take long breaths and actually feel the air fill up in your lungs. Occasionally doing yoga also helps since the goal of all these activities is to focus on the connection between your mind, body and soul. I always thought that I had a really good focus and I don't need meditation because that is only for monks or people. But then when I started doing it for the first time, I realized how much it helped you focus on one thing at one time. Our thoughts tend to come from everywhere in all directions. Meditation allows you to center yourself and focus on that one thing which you're doing with all your attention and energy. You don't have to do it 15 to 20 minutes every day but start slow by just doing five minutes each day and see the difference and see how much you become more happier because the pressure of overwhelming thoughts gets so less. You just know for sure what is happening within you and how to deal with everything. Now the next one has to be reading or talking to people you trust or your good friends. So I know when I was a kid I used to read so much. I used to dive in the world of fictional stories and just spend endless hours reading. But as I grew older, I kind of stopped reading because I was so much more focused on tennis and everything else. But now I've started regaining and I see the beauty there is in reading. It has got so many benefits starting from. It is an exercise for the brain. It improves concentration and ability to focus, improves literacy and reduces stress. It again improves brain connectivity and comprehension. It empowers you to empathize with others. Reading helps you focus better on other tasks and helps you ignite your imaginative side. There are so many amazing books out there and starting to read is honestly going to change your life for the better. It allows you to learn so many new things and soon enough becomes your best friend. 
Okay, now the next thing has to be exercise. Now I know not everybody has all the time of the day to do a 45 minutes or 15 minute workout, but small steps every day can really help you achieve a big goal. Going outside, taking a nice walk or even moving your body for a few minutes has huge benefits. Exercising decreases the negative effect of stress in your body, helps you sleep soundly and deeply. It also helps you focus better on tasks and improve cognitive function. Sometimes exercise can provide even opportunities to connect to your community and decrease social isolation. I know playing a sport has made me focus so much better on other areas of my life as well, such as academics. Whenever I come back from playing, I just go straight into the shower and then come back and start doing my homework. I tend to focus so much better. I feel more active and energized once I've done my workout and then I come back and focus on my academics or anything else. Now the last tip definitely has to be organization. Now I never used to be a very organized or structured person but once I started putting down things in a piece of paper and doing them, I felt so much more relieved rather than having all my anxieties in my mind. It is so much easier to have them written down on a piece of paper or a digital planner have to be extravagant all you can do is open the notes app on your phone and just start writing things you want to get finished on that day organization obviously means keeping your room clean and keeping all your clothes in one place and keeping your desk neat and clean now i know these are very small things but in the long run they do make a big impact if your room is messy if your clothes are everywhere and if your desk is not kept in proper order you are never going to feel one percent motivated to stay there or work towards your goals so you have to keep everything organized and in it in its place to achieve your maximum efficient level so that is all i got for you today guys and if this video helped you or if you find even one tip that was useful or helpful then definitely comment below like share and subscribe because you know guys it really helps and it motivates me to see that whatever i'm creating is helping other people as well so let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions of videos i should make or anything and um, i'll work on it so i'll see you in the next video bye